Morning folks, Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. I wanted to discuss a product with you guys today. As you know, we've had a long-standing relationship with GunAdapters.com, Short Lane Arms. Good friends of the Pathfinder School, we've helped them to develop a lot of versatile products for the shotgun and sub-caliber type adapters, and now we've even got the 12-gauge black powder adapter. It allows you to load a 2 9 shotgun primer into this adapter and turn your 12-gauge shotgun into a muzzle loader. Well, recently I had him develop a 410 black powder adapter and I want to show you that today. We're going to show it to you on a firearm that you might not think about using it with but it's going to be very easy to load this way so I'm going to show it to you on this firearm but bear in mind that this adapter will work with any single shot 410 as long as it's chambered 410. So whether you've got a New England Firearms or H&R single shot 410 or whether you've got one of the Argentine broke open pistols that's chambered in 45 long Colt 410 or even the Ducktown, Tennessee Derringer that we're going to use today, you can load black powder in all of these weapons. So it just helps the versatility of your gun. The specific reason I wanted mine was because I carry the M6 Scout quite a bit, which is 410 and 22. I have a 22 caliber adapter for the 410 as well, so I can shoot over under 22s. I can shoot 410 out of it. Now I can shoot black powder out of it. And with the combination of this Ducktown pistol for a last ditch type situation if I were laying in my camp at night and something were to enter my camp, I have that one last shot of 410 that I can use to defend myself with. If I have black powder, I now have that much more versatility in the weapon. And that's what this is all about. It's about versatility. It's not about, well, I'm going to carry black powder and nothing else. I'm going to carry 22s and nothing else. I'm going to carry 410s and nothing else. I'm going to carry 45 long Colt and nothing else. The weapon will fire them all. And that is the beauty of it. So having that small adapter gives you the ability to shoot black powder. And it will shoot Pyrodex black powder substitute or it will shoot regular black powder. That's the versatility and beauty of this insert. So let me show you that right now. And we'll put a couple rounds out of this thing. We'll shoot it a couple of times. I want to show you how easy it is and why I choose to carry the small type firearm and why it's so easy to load with black powder and why I like it. So stay with me, guys. Okay, so here's our Ducktown, Tennessee 45, 410, single shot Derringer. And we've reviewed that in another video. We have... Obviously, it will shoot any 410, 3-inch 410 round, and that happens to be a 410 Defender round, which is my favorite round to shoot out of this gun for protection or an ultimate last shot. And again, that's what this gun's for, a last shot. This is not, I'm going to carry this and not carry my semi-auto or not carry my revolver or whatever my main backup weapon is. This is a last shot situation. We also have an adapter for this that will fit any 410 that will shoot 22 long rifle. Okay? So we can put 22 long rifles in there as well. And this can be used again with the M6 Scout, with the single shot 410 H&R, with the, sing with the 410 uh, New England Arms. Any of those single shot 410s, this will work for. This is only a 3 inch adapter, so it's not rifled. It may have one rifle ring in it, but I'm not sure. I don't think it does. So you're pretty much going to get keyhole rounds coming out of this thing. But that's okay. You're going to be shooting point blank with something like this. You're not shooting 10 yards. You're shooting point blank range. Then we have the adapter for a 209 shotgun primer. And the way that works is exactly the same way. It goes into the breech of the firearm just like this. Okay. So once we put our adapter in the weapon, we're going to take a primer and we're going to go ahead and prime this weapon now. The way this Derringer is set up, it has a crossbar safety mechanism in it that will not let the hammer travel until you take the safety off. So you can load this thing safely and you're good to go. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a measure of shot and a measure of powder that are about equal. So we will take our, sh our powder, and again this is black powder. And I'm going to fill this container about one-third of the way. I've experimented with this a little bit. I know about what the best load is for this thing now. So we're going to pour that in. 
just like that. And basically we're building a shotgun shell inside this weapon. Now we're just going to take a piece of paper or leaves or a piece of bandana, whatever the case may be. That's the versatility of this stuff is. We're basically building our own shotgun shell here. So we're just ramming that stuff down on top of the powder. And I've just got a stick here. You can pick up any stick off the ground. Again, that's the beauty of this situation with this little gun is that it's very easy to load it and things like that in the field. Now we're going to take a little bit more shot. I would recommend an equal volume of shot and powder, but we're going to go with just a little bit more shot than powder. We're going to try to fill that gun pretty much to the end, like a little cannon, because remember we've got an insert in here and we're building a shotgun shell. And then we're just going to take the end of this thing and stuff it with another piece of paper, just like this. And I'm just going to tamp it down a little bit to make sure it's in there good. Remember what I said about this trigger. It can't go forward because there's a crossbar safety in there. That gun is perfectly safe. Alright, now when we're ready to fire it, that's when we're going to pull the trigger just a little bit and release the crossbar safety here. And now the trigger can go forward. Now we're ready to shoot the weapon. It's armed. All we have to do is pull the hammer back and pull the trigger. Dude's got well, it's got 14 holes in it. Of course, some of those are through and through, so maybe only seven, but seven six shot. <laughs> That'll put the whooping to you for sure. Obviously, that thing would have spread out pretty fast, so a wider target probably would have took a lot more shot. But I wanted to see how accurate it would be, you know, aiming at a smaller target. Okay, so now let's talk about unloading this very simple procedure all we're going to do is come in here take our stick shove the adapter out just like that and then we can just run our fingernail up underneath this thing to work this out easy enough just like this and that dude will come right out and then we can just place it back in the chamber and if we're going to use this for black and for black powder all the time then we can just leave that adapter in there it's not going to hurt anything if we're not going to then we can just keep the adapter out. But it's a very good little system for black powder. And like I said, you know, you could use this out of any 410 chambered weapon. An M6 Scout, an Argentine breakdown pistol. You could use it for your NEF or your New England Arm shotgun. All of that will work for this. And it makes your 410 just that much more versatile. That's what I like about it. All right, folks, well, I appreciate you joining me today for this short product review of the Short Lane Arms Gun Adapters.com 410-209 Shotgun Black Powder Adapter. Again, it just makes the firearms that you have that much more versatile. I'm not trying to tell you to carry black powder all the time. I'm saying that in the event of an ammunition shortage and you've got things that you can choose from, but you have to conserve some things. If you had 22 410 black powder they can all be shot from the same firearm now and you can pick and choose when and what you're going to use that ammunition for i appreciate your views i appreciate your support i thank you for everything you do for me and for all the pathfinder affiliates i'll be back with another video as soon as i can thanks folks